Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you a few solutions to the driver power state failure in Windows 10. Driver power state failure is a BSOD, blue screen of death, error and it shows up mostly as a result of incompatible driver installed. The common cause for this error might be your drivers, so it's advised that you update your drivers constantly. And now I will show you a few steps in which you can fix the driver power state failure. The first solution is to enter safe mode and remove recently installed drivers. Enter the BIOS and make sure that the first boot device is set to your CD DVD drive. Then you have to place the Microsoft Windows 10 boot DVD into the CD DVD drive. Reboot your Windows operating system. When prompt by the message press any key to boot from CD or DVD, please press any key on your keyboard. In the first window that appears after you booted from the Windows 10 DVD, you need to click the next button. Then from the chosen option you have to go into the troubleshoot and click on the repair your computer option present in the screen. Then again you have to go into the troubleshoot option and then click on the advanced options. In the advanced options left click on the command prompt option. What you have to do in the black window just type C and double dot. Press enter. Next, you need to write the following in the command prompt bcd edit slash set brackets default boot menu policy legacy. After that, you have to write in the command prompt exit. Press the enter key. Remove the Windows disk and restart your PC. After doing that, you need to enter the safe mode to remove any installed drivers. What you have to do is when your computer reboots, you have to keep pressing the F8 button on the keyboard. A list of options will appear. You have to select safe mode from the menu. When the safe mode starts, you have to open device manager. Now uninstall the last drivers you installed recently by right clicking on them and choosing the uninstall device option. All you have to do now is reboot the Windows 10 normally and see if you still have the blue screen with the same error message. If the issue persists, you will have to remove another recently installed driver. Repeat this step until your PC starts working again. The next method is performing an SFC scan. What you have to do is press the Windows key plus X to open the Windows plus X menu and then you can choose either command prompt or if your command prompt isn't available, like in my case, select PowerShell admin. When the prompt opens, you just have to enter SFC space slash scan now and press enter to run it. The scan process will now start. Keep in mind that it can take a long time, so please don't interrupt it. In case you can't run the SFC scan, what you have to do is open the command prompt as administrator and you have to use the DISM scan. So you open the command prompt and then you run the following commands. After running both commands, check if the problem is solved. If you were unable to run the SFC scan before, make sure to run it after the DISM scan. And once that is completed, you can go with the SFC. The problem should be gone after both scans. Another solution is changing your power settings. You have to press Windows key plus S, right control panel. Select control panel from the list. When control panel opens, locate and click on power options. Click on choose what the power button does. Now click on change settings that are currently unavailable and disable turn off fast startup. Click on save changes button. This is because the driver power state failure can appear on some devices due to your power settings. According to a few users, you might be able to fix this problem simply by disabling certain power settings like we showed you above. Another solution would be change your power plant settings. Navigate to power options and locate your currently selected plan and click on change plan settings. 
Then you have to go on the change advanced power settings. A new list will prompt up. Open the sleep section and make sure that sleep and hibernation are all set to never. And then in power buttons and lead section, make sure that everything is set on do nothing. Now you can click apply and OK to save changes. The last solution, changing your device's power options. You have to open device manager. You have to locate your network adapter and double click on it to open its properties. Then you can navigate to power management tab and uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click on OK to save changes. If none of this helped you, make sure you read the full article in the description below. And if it did help you, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.